we've done a bunch of side quest stuff. Um, so all side objectives have been completed. I have went back, I have done all the combat stuff I missed out. I've went and done all of Fort Condors on hard. That was not easy. Done the side quests and stuff. Because like I say, the streams, I mostly just want to push story. So I'm kind of like I say, most of the time I'm leaving the opening areas for like my own enjoyment off stream and stuff, things like that. So, yeah. Uh, but that's all been done. Uh, so we're ready to push the story and see where it takes us. Oh, hey you guys. We talked to Yuffie. She said that you could show us a way to get up top. Sure, I'd be happy to. Although, Yuffie's the one who found it. And according to her, that tanker's the quickest and easiest way into the city. Okay. See that? That booth up there is the control room. So we can repurpose this ship as an elevator. Someone lowers and sends it back up, along with the others. Problem is, how are we supposed to get to the controls? High voltage? Yep. It should just say no climbing. So we're stuck. Yeah. Not with Mr. Dolphin. You wouldn't believe what he can do. Like, like when we met. See, I was out taking a swim all on my lonesome. All on your lonesome? I thought I was alone. But then, squeak, squeak. I hear this funny noise. That's great and all, but we're in a hurry. Hey. We're sorry, really. But we'll make sure to come back as soon as we're done. You can finish your story then. How does that sound? Okay, promise. <laughs> hmm? Never done it before? My arm, your arm, bam. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> awesome. Pretty cool. Alright then, now what? Now we ask Mr. Dolphin to get you up. With his help, it'll be a cinch. Okay, curious how this is gonna go down. Okay, which one of you wants to go flying? Got you written all over it, Merc. Oh, sure it does. <laughs> Guess it's me. I would think Great. if anyone's the most Just agile, I want to be Tifa. Yep. Yeah. Jumping with dolphin. If you are swimming fast enough by the time you reach the goal, you'll be able to launch cloud up to the control room. Form shaft turns with a two steer. Come on, cloud, you got this. Oh, good lord. This is not as easy as it looked. <laughs> nice going, man. Okay. I didn't really use the power steering too much.
There we go. Okay, your ride's right here. The ship's not far, so you'll be there in no time. If we don't sink on the way. <laughs> the dolphin's pretty cute. Something tells me Barrett doesn't like You're water. Huge help, Priscilla. No prob. Well, guys and girls, and uh, dog. I'll see you later. <laughs> Red looks like he's having such a good time. <laughs> Lift going up. It'd be interesting to see how we're getting actually up top, because I don't think there was a wave of cloud. He's here. Ten hut. That guy is human blue eyes, <laughs> white dragon. Just gotta keep an eye out for any chests, like so. City's size, on the other hand, the robed men won't be easy to find. They're definitely not here. Let's head into town. Let's 
give me one quick moment. Alright, it's just an informational thing. Okay. Sorry, there was an email saying there was something about Universal Credit there. Okay, nothing back here. We cannot let Midgar wait. Not on our own home turf. Any idea what that is? The highway. Generous pride and joy. The fastest, most advanced airship in the fleet. Screw the boat. Let's take that. Plus you got a trained crew and piloting skills we don't know about. We're sticking with the boat. That's too bad. Would have been Just gonna quickly uh Perfect. Hey, beggars can't be choosers. I can do down there. Okay, this entire area is pretty much a dud. Them be for now. <laughs> Enter. An emissary from Wutai is here, sent by Viceroy Saruth. Oh, he introduced himself as Colonel Glenn Ladbrock. He's wearing robes and stuff for some reason. I thought you were dead. <laughs> then you thought right. Let's cut to the chase, Mr. President. The Viceroy and your late father had big plans. I assume you intend to carry them out? Correct. That's good to hear. Some people just don't have the stomach for war. And this battle for the Magnus Materia demands commitment from both Wutai and Shinra. Agnes Materia? I'm aware. But my father is dead, which changes the equation. 
A new vision is required. <laughs> you always did prefer to march to the beat of your own drum. This new vision include your fairy tale promised land? <laughs> you Shinras, you take and you take, and you never give back. Left to you, this world would end up an empty husk. Where do I know his voice from? But war can put things right. Beget anger, desolation. I think that's the voice of young Ansem from Kingdom Hearts. Well, sorry, young Xehanort from Kingdom Hearts. A people rejuvenated, and a planet once more made whole. What we're doing's for the greater good. Just gotta know when to ease off the gas. Now listen. You started this, remember? No more playing the idle air. You have obligations to fulfill. <laughs> Let's give the people what they deserve. Oh, right. Before I leave, a message from the Viceroy. Congratulations on your inauguration, Mr. President. Shinra has a bright future. Stiff neck. I can't believe we get to see the new president in person. Check each tag. What kind of range do you think a can of that will have? Remember that you represent Juno. Um, assuming we're meant to go, or maybe. My wife is completely obsessed with a new era. Everything must be Yeah, I could have stayed over. This is the right way to go. Into an armed fortress. Its strategic location, along with its air and seaports, make it second only to Midgar's, the company's most vital city. Huh. Neat. Any good restaurants? Sights to see? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Ah, uh, right. You're not the touristy type. Hey, just to be clear, you do realize we're not here on vacation, right? Uh, of course I do. Hey, look, what's that about? Listen up. Midgar's 7th Infantry will return home with the President's commendation. Let's show him how a real drill team does it. And make our city proud. <laughs> Troopers, you're all off duty until the parade begins. But use this time wisely. Practice your technique. <laughs> Well, this, this seems to be where we're getting off. Those troopers seemed pretty psyched for the parade, huh? More like eager to prance around for their new paymaster. <laughs> I know what y'all gonna say, but I gotta ask. What? If Rufus is in town, are we really gonna let this opportunity pass us by? Hmm. 
Hell, I'm not saying we kill the man, but we ought to at least give him a talking to. Rough him up a little, maybe, you know? Actually, I'm gonna have to agree. First, the Turks say, do whatever, we're not after you. But then, Cloud's biker buddy rolls up and says he is. We gotta straighten this out. Okay, but how? We can't just walk up to the president in the street. Hmm. Or maybe we can. Huh? We bust up his parade! No. That's how we die in a hail of bullets like a bunch of dumbasses. The city's crawling with Shimmer troopers. <coughs> we join the parade. Hide in plain sight. Get in, get close, get answers. Seriously? Sure. Wow, that's good. No arguments here. Barrett, Brett, you guys find a route to the port. See what security's like. And keep an eye out for black robes while you're at it. Now hold up! Fatigues won't be enough to disguise you two. He's got a point. True enough. Shut up. <laughs> All right, see you in a bit. I gotta go find a uniform. Oh, we're coming with. I'm so pumped for this. This way? Yeah. Attention all troopers. Spare uniforms can be found here. Well, isn't that lucky? Now we're talking. Huh. They're actually kind of cool. Well, ready to suit up? Yep. <laughs> Whoa there. Three steps back, if you please. <laughs> uh, Cloud, what do you think you're doing? I have to try. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you got me. <laughs> I'd say we look the part, maybe, but don't forget, you gotta act the part too. Just do what I do, all right? Just 